Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is for you. I'm Cyclone. It's time for our Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Well, as you can see, we're looking at the Liverpool to Manchester Piccadilly via Warrington Central route. This is the uh, DTG route that I believe was around 2000, I want to say 2016 or 15 or somewhere in that range. I don't know exactly what year it was, but uh, this has been out for a number of years now. As you can see, there are several DLC. We have the Class 45 Peak down here, which has a trio of scenarios on it. We have the Class 142 Pacer, which, by the way, you'll notice the friends lists are not working on those because um, there's an updated version of the train now included with the Huddersfield route. So uh, because that uh, new version of the train is different than the previous friends list, it's kind of leaving us a bubbling friends list here, or constantly loading friends list. And we also have the 101, uh, which has some scenarios on it as well, which uh, run here as well. So we have a lot, and this, by the way, I think is the Regional Railways 101 because this is a Regional Railways route. So we have a few trains we can drive here, but all of the scenarios that come with the route are the Class 158 Regional, these six scenarios down here, as well as a training scenario, which I believe is over in the Academy. I, there is an achievement tied to that, but I'm not going to do it on camera because we've already introduced the 158. We saw that way back on Suburban Glasgow. Look at my Suburban Glasgow 158, and you'll see a little bit of a tour of the train on one of those, I believe. Uh, long over a year ago, but I'm pretty sure I had some kind of a tour on that. So we're not going to waste too much time looking at the train. We're just going to go ahead and get into driving. Now I'm trying. To, I've been trying to decide what kind of order I should go in with these services, with these uh, scenarios. And I've decided the best thing I can do is to potentially do an express service to Manchester first. This will give us a full tour of the uh, route from Manchester going to uh, or going from Liverpool to Manchester rather. We're also going to have later on an express to Liverpool, which is a little bit harder. Manchester, Piccadilly to Liverpool, Lime Street. So basically that's in the other order. And we'll be going in the opposite direction for that one. And then we have some other ones. For example, Match Day Madness is a 20-minute uh, scenario during some soccer. Yes, I said soccer. Exhibition matches. Um, Warrington, off to Warrington, is a half-hour service. It's calling at uh, all stations. So we're going to get to see a lot of stations on that one. Storms Gather Emergency Side is another one where we stop at uh, all stations on our journey. And then we have this Oxford Road to, uh, I presume, Liverpool, because it goes through Warrington. This is where a freight train is going to cause us trouble. This will be the last scenario we do because it is considered the most difficult, apparently, by the scenario makers. Uh, but today, I think a nice casual run from uh, Liverpool to Manchester is just the thing we need. I'm going to start with that. So let's go ahead and get started with that. It is approaching lunchtime and your shift finishes at Manchester Piccadilly. Drive an express train to Manchester stopping at Liverpool South Parkway, Widnes, Warrington Central, Manchester Oxford Road, and Manchester Piccadilly. Roger, that's what we're driving, 158773. We're going to get a little bit of a pause here for a moment to be told that we have to allow passengers to board here at Liverpool Lime Street before continuing to Manchester. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be boarding passengers here at Min at excuse me at Liverpool Lime Street. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up the open railway map because this is my first time driving along this route. Even though I have looked at this route and studied this route in uh, timetables before, I've never actually driven it. So this will be my first time actually looking at it from the perspective of uh, telling you what we're doing here. And uh, I know exactly where that route is in the uh, UK map. I have that area pegged by now. So I want to tell you everything going on in this that everything that we pass as much as I possibly can here. Now I will have to add things in the tooltips again because I don't know all the junction names and everything. So I will be adding things in the tooltips for this drive. I'm not going to do that for every single scenario, but this being the first one, I feel I want to give you as much information as I can uh, about this area. So keep in mind, I will do what I can to educate you on this drive. The rest of them are just going to have a little bit of fun. So let's go ahead and uh, do exactly that today. So we're starting here at Liverpool Lime Street. We're going to hit T to open the doors. We're going to bring up the HUD. We're going to look at the itinerary. You see we have five additional stops, including our terminus of Manchester Piccadilly. And that's what we're dealing with today. So Liverpool Lime Street is our first location. And we are going to bring our brakes off. I should have reset the AWS self-test. Why didn't I do that? I'm a dummy. I didn't reset the AWS self-test on time. So I'm losing a few seconds already. Great way to start. We should have lots of time anyway, so we're all right. Okay, I had to bring the uh, throttle back just a moment there. And now we're in the 15. I'm going to idle at 15 for the time being as we leave Liverpool Lime Street. Very quick peek at the map to show you exactly where we're leaving here. We are leaving, not there, we're leaving right here from platform number 
five. Well, yeah, platform number five, because there's a sidetrack next to us. So we're leaving platform number five today. And we're going to take a quick peek at the route while we're waiting for the uh, train to get to the next area here. This is our terminus. And as you can see, the route does continue. We're going to have a bit of a uh, connection from the yard coming up here. The route does continue off here towards the Chat Moss. That is an ATS route. And I'm not talking about the truck simulator. I'm talking about the uh, train versions. The route does go south for us to our first stop at uh, Liverpool South Parkway. And it continues along on the southern route because where the West Coast Main Line crosses here. And then it continues up here. This is where, again, you connect to the Chat Moss route. So that's back to the Chat Moss. And then there's another connection here as well. So there are routes everywhere. I'm going to try to add in tooltips information on as many of those as I can. Because I'm not going to be able to cover every single one of those, obviously. So um, I'm not an expert. But I will give you as much research as I can. So hopefully I can learn a little bit more as I go here as well. I believe this track you see is um, some kind of metro track connecting. I don't know it to be anything else here. I hear a train. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can see that train going by. That's an express train. Similar to ours, but going the other direction. We're going to have a scenario driving it as well. 40 mile per hour is now our speed limit. That, I think, was 158709 Express. I believe that's who that was. And since I don't see a lot of Express with the 7 and the other one is at Manchester, I'm going to say I'm probably correct on that. Now we have a uh, 30 coming up. I'm going to take a little bit of speed for right now, but I'm going to have to bring the speed back down to a 30 in a moment. So we're going to go ahead and stop at this uh, speed. We're going to see if we can reduce our speed without braking. But I have a feeling we're going to need a little bit of a brake here. Yeah, this uphill is doing a good job bringing our speed down. That is for sure. We actually are going to be down in time. Look at this. Just another mile to go. Of course, 71% thrall does absolutely nothing to uh, add speed to this train. That is wonderful to see. Oh, now it is. Very quickly, I might add. Wow. We're going to have a 25 coming up as well, so we're going to kind of just hover here at 28.3, 28.2. That appears to be what 57% throttle does. It kind of hovers us at this speed. But I'm going to go down to 28% throttle and let it come down a little further at this point because we're going to have to get down to 25. Actually, I'm going to zero it down because I'm going to need a little bit of a break here. There it is. We're down in time. I believe this is Edge Hill. There are no other stations I know of on this stretch. We're going to take a bit of a left turn here, as you can see. Another train coming in. That is 158783. So we're in a 25 mile per hour speed limit right now, which is why I had to hit the brakes. We're going to be entering an 80 up ahead, but we do have to stay at this speed as we come through the yard area. We will then make a sharp right as the uh, straight route goes through the Waver Tree Technology Park, which will be off of our line. Broad Green is also further up that track, so that's in the Chat Moss route area. In fact, uh, let's take a quick peek at the route on the map. You can actually see Waver Tree Technology Park right there. So I don't know how much scenery is in that area, but it could be possible to do a very small scenario where you just have a train that you're finishing service from there and then taking it to the yard. So that is a possible uh, mini scenario idea that you can have coming off the Chat Moss route, even though we don't actually have the Chat Moss route. If you have the Chat Monster, you're going to probably see everything from Broad Street onwards as well, because it's there, naturally. So I moved my speed up a little bit because we are now in a 30 mile per hour section here. There was no sign for that 30, I want to point out. So uh, we had no indication that we were going into that 30. Let's hop on top of the train for a moment and take a quick look as we come around all these... Uh, tracks curving here you can see the path to uh the other station over there let's take a quick run over in fact just to look at it this i believe is where that's actually not the track at all whoa it's over here so the other track is somewhere in this area over here 
And I think the station is somewhere. Nope, that's where the track ends. So the station is, so, there's the station. That's the uh, technology park station right here. So there you go. That's the station we're not going to see on our journeys. So we're starting to move our speed up because we are coming to the end of the 30. And now we can go ahead and move up completely to 80, which I'm going to do. So you got to see Waver Tree Technology Park. I feel good about that. We are passing the Waver Tree Junction area if we haven't already. That train, I didn't get up in time, but we're going to take a quick look from behind the train. You can see nothing. It's already gone. Hopefully you got to see it on YouTube because I didn't. Now, I'm taking a quick look at my list of trains. I believe that was 158715. Uh, that would make sense based on the current time and when the trains on the map move. So I think that was 178715. I just don't have a confirmation of that. Coming up on the 70, we're not at 70 yet. We're going to be passing Mossley Hill Station. And then after a left curve, we're going to go through West Salerton. So we'll call those stations as we see them. They are the two stations before our stop. So I'm easing the throttle off knowing that we're entering a 70 right here. There we go, that's perfect, right there. So we're gonna zero the throttle for a moment. And I'm gonna put the brakes on because apparently we are going to uh, go downhill here. Good to know. This is Mossley Hill. Or this might have actually been the, uh, I might have missed Mossley Hill. If I did, I'll put a tool tip in, but uh, I believe that was Mossley Hill. We'll see if we have another station right in front of us here. Actually, that I might be wrong. That might have been West Allerton. Double flashing yellow here. Ah, this is West Allerton. So that was Mossley Hill, this is West Allerton. I'm gonna put a little bit of a brake application on right now, just a minimal one. I'm not gonna see who that train is, I don't think, in time. Ah, 158704, there you go. 158704. Now we have about uh, almost two full minutes to make our stop, so I'm not concerned about timing here. The only thing I'm concerned about is making sure we don't overshoot the platform. We also have to be careful because there's only a three-step, thank you, there's only a three-step brake on this train, so it is easy to go into emergency brake by accident. And once you hit emergency brake, you're stuck in it. You can't pull out of emergency brake. And it just slides into it very easily, so you have to be careful when you're applying the brakes that you don't go into it by accident. So we're coming down to 30 right now. I've gone ahead and eased off the brakes because I actually hit too much brakes too early. My fault, naturally. more brakes on now. I'm aware, thank you. I'm leaving a level one brake until we're fully in the station. Now I'm gonna go to a level two brake, step two. And I'm I'm coming way too slow now, so I'm using that right off to an idle brake setting. We're gonna pull up a little bit further and then we're gonna make our stop. Do I have a stop indicator here? I don't know if we actually have a stop indicator on this station or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the brakes on because we're coming to the end of the platform. Oh, we wait, we're way past it, we blew past. This is a four car stop. Anyway, arrival at Liverpool South Parkway.
That's the one-touch space bar horn, by the way. I did not do the second tone. I tried to, but it came first. Uh, in any case, we are leaving Liverpool South Parkway. We are on a 20 mile per hour junction at this point. You can see a track going off to the right. So there are two main lines here. The one to the right is obviously not really one that we're worried about. That is the one that goes towards uh, the Ditton reception sidings. It continues towards Runcorn. So I believe that is a completely different route that I think is uh, related to uh, London Euston. I think that goes towards London Euston, if I remember correctly. It eventually goes towards Acton Bridge and uh, further on a high-speed line. So that must be the line in London Euston. Uh, we're taking the much different path here, which is going to take us to Halewood, Halewood, Howe Green, and eventually Widnes, which is our next stop. So we are passing the Allerton Depot, which is all the tracks to the uh, left here. You can see some uh, cars in the Allerton Depot as well there, those flat cars. I'm trying to bring our speed up to 30 since we're now allowed to go 30. Five is going to be our speed limit coming up here, so we are going to be uh, free to run. Let's go. Come on, throttle. Let's go. Come on, speed. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> so we're now on the Manchester and Allerton Junction line, as it's referred to en route to uh, Manchester. Hunts Cross is the next station we will see. Now a little note about Hunts Cross, there's actually another railway that joins us at the Liverpool South Parkway. It is uh, more of a metro line. It goes to Cressington, Eigberth, uh, and a number of other stations, St. Michael's. Uh, I don't have immediately on hand what the end of the line is, but there are a number of different lines to go to it. I know Kirkby is on the line, Old Rome, Kirkdale, a number of places like that are on the line according to my map here. So. Hunts Cross is actually the uh, terminating point for the Metro line. So you can actually see those cars uh, coming along on one of the lines here as you go through Hunts Cross. Now naturally they're not going to show up on this route because it's not rolling stock that we're going to ever use on this route. Uh, it was not provided as non-drivable stocks. So it wasn't just meant to show up sitting at the station or whatever, but that is what you would see here. I believe this was Hunts Cross right here. So that is the end of the uh, metro line. Now as we approach Halewood, the, uh, there were junctions for a line that used to go north to Gataker. And uh, the name of that line, I don't know if I have the name of that line. Yes, I do. The Liverpool North Extension Railway is going to be, would have been going off to the north. It is not part of our era. But Halewood appears right before where the... Uh, line would have rejoined us heading to the east right before that connection point so that's where Halewood is going to be and that is the next station we are therefore going to see we will see it before witness so here is Halewood I didn't see who that train was but that's okay and this is where the line would have rejoined. You can see there's a bunch of neighborhood homes here today. So uh, development has taken place where this railway line used to be. Almost feels like this is where it would have rejoined right there. We're going to continue along. I don't believe there are any more stations for a little while here. We are eventually going to cross the A5300, which is the uh, Nosley Expressway. We're eventually going to come to Howe Green right after that. We're hitting 85 miles per hour limit. We're at 80 right now. So we're doing very good for our timing at this point. We have three minutes to make our stop. We have two miles, well, actually three miles to go. So we're going to be a little early according to that math. I'm slightly concerned about our timings on these scenarios now. I really am. I am slightly concerned. If 
trying to maintain speed in the 84 area, and so far I'm succeeding. This is actually working out very nicely. If I can hold this, I'll be very happy. Oops, I didn't want to go 100, because that gains speed. That for sure gains speed. So how green should be coming up here. There it is. You can see Widness is the next station we're going to see. There is another line that used to leave uh, the How Green area head in the uh, to our right. That track is also a track that's been lifted. We don't see anything there today. I'm trying to bring up information very quickly as we go along. That is the Widness branch that uh, it would have been called going off to our right. So I think we're past that point now. We're maintaining our speed very nicely in this area. I'm very happy with this, even on the uphill. I'm gonna now go ahead and apply a brake application here, just a minimal one. We will increase as we come closer to witness. We're stopping today at platform number two, and I think we're gonna have lots of time for this stop. Okay, so now we're getting to the point that we're coming in very fast. So I'm going to put a step two brake application on. That will slow me down nicely at this stage. Yes, I'm getting some good breakage here. I like it. Now I'm going to go back to a step one brake application. I'm actually going to go ahead and coast for right now. I'm coming in very nicely for this stop. And welcome to Witness. We're going to do a major, actually a full service break will be fine here because this is a very small platform. I might overshoot here, guys. Well, slight overshoot, but it should count as a stop still, so let's do it. We will accept it. Arrival at Witness, platform two. So for those of you wondering, yeah, I overshot the platform. Not much, but enough to um, not be on it properly. So uh, we'll deal with it. Let's get ourselves ready to get going here as soon as passenger pickup completes. There we go. Gonna move the throttle up to 100% and get going right away because this part of the journey is gonna be a little tight. I also had an out of memory error, so I actually had to come back and resume here after an out of memory error. That was a little unexpected. So uh, try and do this again now. That's why I know it's going to be a tight one. <laughs> Leaving a witness, our next stop is Warrington Central. We will see one more station along the way, Sankey for Penketh. I want to point out that Warrington West, uh, which is not far from there, opened in 2019. Therefore, it will not be on our route, just like White Rose is not on the Huddersfield route because it opens, I don't know, end of 2022, start of 2023. I'm not sure when its official opening date is. I haven't looked that up for a while. I need to look up White Rose, actually. Now, before we get too far into the next section of route here, because because when I leave Warrington, I'm going to talk about the route itself. Let's talk about the train itself that we're driving today. The 158 uh, Express Sprinter, class 158, was built between 1989 and 1992 at Derby Works, built to replace many locomotive haul passenger trains, mostly with two-car two car units. There are... 17 that were built as three car units, many of which have had the center car removed, eight of them. Another eight which has since become class 159s. Uh, and there are 10 more units that were built for West Yorkshire PTE Metro services around Leeds. So they run as Metro trains. They're still 158s, but they run as Metro. So uh, there, a little bit of information on the train that we're driving today. We are driving, of course, the Regional Railways livery. And if you remember the uh, 101 Regional Railways pack, it's the same livery kind of thing we have going on with that. We will eventually drive that on this route as well because we did introduce the channel on the 101. I would be remiss to not use the 101, especially because custom destinations are a thing on that. So uh, we are definitely going to make a point of using the 101 on this route as well. I also have to get to the 142. And most importantly, I have a single set of scenarios, a three-pack of scenarios uh, from the Steam Workshop that I'm going to be using to run from Liverpool Lime Street to Newcastle on the modernized 
East Coast Main Line for the third part. So that is something I'm going to do. I'm going to bring an 802 along this route as well. We already introduced the 802 in preparation for that. So uh, keep an eye out in the future for that set of 802 scenarios. I'm As of doing this route, I'm now prone to do that whenever I decide I want to do that. And that'll be a week of ser that'll be a week of services right there doing that set of three scenarios. So I'll do that over a week and we're going to have a nice fun casual drive that week. Nothing, no career stresses or anything else. Just have a nice casual drive. Unless he made it career, I don't know. <laughs> We'll do whatever he makes it. I started thinking about it, I could probably make that just one drive. That might be an idea, make a single drive out of it. And then just make that my only video for the week. Or for a weekend. Might be an idea. I know some of you like these long videos. So that was Sankey for Penketh. The area where the Warrington West Station is is coming up here. But you're not going to really see anything indicating it along here. There's going to be a road coming to join alongside to the left at some point. Which may or may not be evident. But that's around where Warrington West is located. Thank you. So we're going to do a little bit of a brake application right now so we can slow down. We do need to make sure we don't come in too fast here. I'm going to leave the bulk of the braking for when we get closer to the sign. Because I want to maintain some speed for right now. And now I need to hit the brakes. Okay, easing off a little bit now. Actually, I need to hit the brakes again. There we go, good enough for now. So we're going 50 for the time being. I'm going to maintain 50 as long as I can, or maybe 49 or 48. We're surely past Warrington West by now. Here's the right turn going over to Warrington Central. You can see the train coming along. That is number 158812 going by. I put on a little bit more brakes to get down to 45 so I can maintain uh, at least some control of my speed here. I think I'll be okay for my stop. I'm close enough to the station that it should not be a problem. I think. It is a little touch and go here. There's got about 20 seconds to work with here, I believe. So we're now under a 40. This is the uh, current modern day version of the sign, not the old one that we saw a moment ago. Now that speed limit you see at the station is a 75. That means nothing to us right now, but it will when we leave. I'm going to keep rolling in at 40 for right now because I see no problem with doing that. But we're eventually going to go ahead and put a level or a step two brake application on, bringing the train to a stop in the middle of the station. That's kind of what I want to do here. So we're going to put a little step two on right now to prepare for that. All right, step two brake. We may blow past a uh, two-car stop sign here, but so be it. I'm going to ease the brakes off as we get down to the low single digits here. Nice, easy stop for our passengers. I actually should have stopped a little further back, I think. This is the four-car stop. Yep, should have stopped further back. We've arrived at Warrington Central, platform number one. Central. Our speed limit is 75 miles per hour. We are on our way to Manchester Oxford Road. 
which is very close to the terminus of our journey today. As we have about uh, 17 miles to go here, a little less than 17 miles, we're going to pass some yards here at Warrington Central as well. Keep an eye out for our next station, which is going to be Padgate Station. We're going to see that station coming up. In the meantime, let's talk a little bit about the route itself. I'm reading this from the manual, by the way, so you can actually get this out of the manual, but, you know, easy way to talk about the history. The line from Liverpool, Liverpool, the line from Liverpool Lime Street to Manchester Piccadilly, as I zoom in, by the way, I need to fix that window, uh, from Liverpool Lime Street to Manchester Piccadilly via Warrington Central, situated in the northwest of England, is the southern direct route between Liverpool and Manchester. The line was originally opened in 1873 by the Cheshire Lines Committee, CLC, and has a total distance of 35 miles, which is a number that's going to have some importance later I'm going to talk about for our achievements. It originally operated from Liverpool Central High Level Terminus Station to Manchester Central Terminus Station. Services of Liverpool bound trains, we're going to watch our speed as we're entering 65. Uh, services of Liverpool bound trains to Lime Street happened in 1966 and the closure of Manchester Central in 1969 with uh, trains subsequently running to Manchester, Oxford Road, and Manchester Piccadilly, with Liverpool Central demolished in 1973. So the original stations on the uh, route, gone. This is what we have uh, remaining now to work with, and it is a known, very uh, common route today, and very well-traversed route as well, I should say. So I'm keeping an eye on my speed for a moment because I want to make sure I don't speed in this 65 segment. I think I'm okay. I'm okay. So continuing, despite the historical age of the route, the line's newest station is Liverpool South Parkway, which is not true anymore. West Warrington is now the newest station. As uh, just to remind you again, this is Padgate Station. Birchwood is coming up. So uh, as of this uh, iteration, Liverpool South Parkway was the newest station in June 2006 at an estimated cost of 16 million uh, pounds, or I think it's pounds, might have been euros. It was doubled to 32 million by the time the station was completed, with bus links to Liverpool Airport. Warrington Central is situated halfway along the route. We've just stopped there. One of two main stations that serve the town of Warrington. The other was located on the West Coast Main Line, which we will see when we take the West Coast Main Line at some point. That might actually be part of the missing link, so it might be a while before we get to that one, unfortunately. Uh, but that does connect London to Scotland. Here is a train coming. I didn't get the information up for it in time. But as you can see, that's the class 47 train that we have to deal with here. So that's our class 47. I'm still getting speed, so we're good. So the route is set in the modern day as of, I don't know, six or seven years ago. Uh, with 24 stations, including Manchester Piccadilly, Manchester Oxford Road, this station, which again is Birchwood. <laughs> Um, Liverpool South Parkway, obviously, Witness, and many others as well. We're coming up to our 85 speed limit, so I'm going to kind of watch my uh, throttle here now. There are four trains per hour in each direction between Liverpool and Manchester, operating using a variety of diesel multiple units, including these 158s. They're operated by a number of train operating companies, though the time intervals are not evenly spaced up. So you could have one train 10 minutes after another, and the next is now 20, 25 minutes later, or something like that. So the times do vary. Uh, see your friendly neighborhood timetable for more information on that, because it will tell you when all the trains take place. It will also tell you when the 802s go across the route, because 802s are very commonly seen here today. You will also see the occasional 68 going through as well, which I've definitely seen uh, going through on the uh, section towards Leeds from Manchester. So you do see those uh, newer trains on here nowadays, and scenarios that are built on the route today uh, in this game, we'll often use those newer trains now that they do exist in Train Simulator. So you will see scenarios with those newer trains on a regular basis. Now you may remember I said the 47, and you sh I showed you a 47, uh, comes with the route as well. Uh, which, uh, we've talked about the 47 many times. It shows up on a lot of routes. Very, very common train. We're not going to be driving it as part of these scenarios because it wasn't used in any of these scenarios, quite simply. They didn't make any for it. Uh, it's mainly a freight train, and I guess there weren't a lot of interesting freight operations due on this route because we've already seen the same kinds of things on other routes. So we kind of got six 158 scenarios instead. 
And of course, there are all sorts of controls for that. We've talked about that on another version of the 158. We're not going to go over the whole uh, cab setup here. You can see it's just a tiny little cab, like a phone booth or something like that. And uh, we basically push buttons and move a train. There are two train scenarios for simple and expert controls. There is an achievement for the uh, expert controls one, not for the simple one. I believe this is Glazebrook right here that we just passed through. We're going to be passing Erlam next. And a lot of stations very close together from that point as we get towards Manchester. The services include this service, Express to Liverpool, Match Day Madness, off to Warrington, the Storms Gather in Merseyside, and Waiting for Freight. I have the information printed off of the services in each of those scenarios. Let's get our speed back up. And I'm going to use that as a reference point as we go. And that's all I'm going to talk about for that route. There you go. So Erlam is the next station, I believe, coming up. And I will verify this on my map. I want to just make sure I'm not misguiding you here. So centering where I am right now, here is the station coming up. And as I said, that is Erlam. So you can see as I zoom out, there's a lot of stations in very close order right over here. So they're all going to start showing up quick and fast. This is Erlam. We're going to have five in very short order snap one after the other. Then we're going to see a soccer stadium. Yes, I said soccer. Shoot me. <laughs> and then three more stations, including Oxford Road and Piccadilly. And that will end our part of the route today. So a bit of a bridge here. I don't know the name of this bridge offhand. I'll put a tooltip in if I uh, remember. We are making good time on this uh, scenario, by the way. So I'm actually going to go ahead and watch to make sure we don't speed because we're on a downhill. One in 135 downhill is gaining us speed. We should be seeing Flixton Station. That, by the way, is the 756. 158756 local. We are about to speed again. So here we go, Flixton. I'm going to let the speed drop a little bit because we are making very good time for Oxford Road. This is uh, Chasson Road. Ermston Station. Put a little speed on now. Humphrey Park. I'll just let the train coast now. We do have a downhill coming up. Our next station should be Trafford Park. And then we're going to keep an eye out for Manchester United. Because that is the uh, hollowed football 
as they call it, soccer as I call it, uh, in this area. This is the hollow ground of one of the most well-known teams in uh, the game. And this is Trafford Park, like I said. So we're going to keep an eye out for the stadium coming up here. We have a 30 mile per hour speed limit. I'm going to keep an eye on in the meantime. And since we are making good time, I'm going to go ahead and slow down a little early here. I think I'm about three minutes early right now. So there's no reason for me to push this. Is that the stadium? I think that is the stadium. Let's hop on top of the train for a moment. There it is. Thankfully, I saw the alert. Yeah, you can see the uh, station for the stadium. So there you go. That's the station for the stadium. Let's zoom back in. off the brakes for a moment we're making good time like i said so we can slow down early and it's fine but we don't want to slow down too quickly you see the uh, advertiser for the finale over there <laughs> the finale still coming up on your local station I love how it's a, U a UK and US advertisement. Applies to both areas. It's kind of funny. Oh, I'm still gaining time. I'm 12.35 arrival now, apparently. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and stay at a slower speed here because I can afford it. I'm going to have to wait at the station anyway, so it doesn't hurt to do that. We should be seeing Dean's Gate coming up as well. That's probably around where the 25 is, I'm guessing. There's a number of other tracks coming in. Some metro tracks are also joining us and run along the main line at some point through Manchester. So these are very, very busy lines coming through Manchester. The game does not do it justice in any way, shape, or form. Simply because we don't have all the stock as of when this route was made. There's a 158790 straight ahead. I brought up the tab so you can see it. We have a green signal. Notice I'm keeping my speed at 25 for right now simply because of the 25 speed limit ahead. That's the only reason I'm doing that. Otherwise, I would be able to go 30 right now. But we are so early that I don't see a need to rush. So I'm going to treat it as a 25 all the way. Nothing wrong with that. Take a quick look at this area. You can see the track up there as well. So that's a lovely uh, track setup that's going to be joining us in a moment. You can see... You can see some kind of river there, and apparently my robot girl in the hallway has come to life. I don't remember saying anything to her, but she started speaking. So if you heard my robot girl, I apologize. I'm not replaying this to get rid of her. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how she came to life. I honestly, my door is closed. Shouldn't be hearing me. Heard me anyway. Okay. So there is a 20 coming up. I did not see Dean's Gate, so I must have missed it. Either that or it's very close to Manchester Oxford Road, which could be the case. So we're now under the 25 mile per hour speed limit as of now. I assume this is another metro line joining in, but I'll add tool tips if I can figure out what, they, what everything is here. Again, only for this scenario. We're coming to a 35 now. I'll speed up. Actually, there's no point really speeding up. There's a 20 coming up. So the 35 is probably the, line, the speed on the line joining. This is Dean's Gate. This is definitely Dean's Gate. 
And I think we're also coming... That might have been the chat moss line joining us back there now that I think about it. Quick peek at the map here, just to show you. Yeah, that was the chat moss. That's the chat moss. 100% that's the chat moss joining. And let's zoom back in so you don't see the broken window. So we're approaching Manchester Oxford Road. You can see our final stop, Manchester Piccadilly, is straight ahead. I'm going to slow down just a little bit more here because I can get down to 15 for the purpose of this stop. Why not? I have the time. Let's use it. See if I can stop at the two-car stop sign as well. Why not? So we're going to look out this window for a two-car stop. I know I'm coming in slowly, so I'm going to actually turn the... Uh, I don't see a sign. I was going to turn the sign. Oh, let's see who that is. There's a 765 coming up. I don't see any two-car stop. I'm just going to stop right here. Let's turn around. We're going to open the doors. We have arrived at Manchester Oxford Road. And let's look at the train. As this one goes by... Actually, I might even just stay with this view because we're very close to our final stop anyway. So we can see 158765 making a stop alongside of us. I got lots of time for screenshots. I got three minutes to kill. <laughs> so that's who just made our stop, a stop next to us. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the train as we wait. leaving Manchester Oxford Road. You can see the intermodal service going by. That is a class 47, the one that comes with the route in its regional railways livery. That red signals for the other track. That's not our signal. Don't worry about that. So we are uh, clear to proceed at 20 miles per hour, entering a 35, which we are probably going to use up to the 20. It's up ahead. Manchester Piccadilly is our route terminus and our service terminus, coincidentally. Notice that speed limits were included beyond on the junctions on the other side of the station. Just in case there was ever to be an extension built, say, to Manchester Airport, for example, they could go ahead and build the Manchester Airport and tack it on as an extension, just like they have with other routes. But they haven't actually touched Manchester Airport yet. I know... Um, ATS is looking at Manchester Airport. You can see the terminus of the route up ahead, by the way, as it is right now. So I think ATS is planning to look at Manchester Airport as a payware route. I'll be curious to see how they handle that. I know part of the route is already in the Chap Moss, uh, but they're probably going to do their own production. Or not, you know, not the Chap Moss. Part of the route is already in the Hope Valley route, I mean to say. But uh, part of it is going to show up, I'm sure, as part of the... Um, in, in that route as well. So they're going to do their own production, is what I'm trying to say. I'll get my words straight. It's the end of a scenario. Shoot me. <laughs> I'm coming in way slower than I should, so I'm going to have to stop very early in the platform to make sure I don't have a problem with this uh, conclusion of this service. Our timing does take us to very close to the end of the minute anyway, so we are okay. We have a double yellow here. We're going to have a single yellow at the end of the platform. Technically, the red is further along. So right before the 15 is where... Actually, right before the whole junk speed changes up ahead is where the uh, red is. We don't care. We have to stop anyway. So we have a yellow. We don't need it. Arrival at Manchester Piccadilly, platform number 13. Let's look at our train. Interesting little way the uh, Manchester station is set up. This curve 
takes you through Manchester, Piccadilly, with a whole bunch of Termini platforms facing, you can see a couple to our right there. I don't have numbers on any of the platforms, but based on my uh, indication here, I believe the uh, area I'm standing on is probably for platform 10, platform 9, platform 10. I believe that's where I'm standing uh, because I see the tracks joining from what would be 11 and 12 in between us and 13. So I believe that's what we're looking at here. So uh, you can see the way Manchester Piccadilly is set up allows for some through traffic heading towards Liverpool as well. But the rest of the stations all terminate and are used for... In some cases, I think Platform 9, for example, is used to turn you around to head to Manchester Airport. In any case, good job. You've arrived at Manchester Piccadilly with no, plat with no platforms, with no problems. You end your shift knowing you've done a good job. Thank you very much. Let's go to the score. So a little quick discussion on the achievements that come in this scenario. You can see I'm, or in the scenario, I should say in the route, not in just the scenario, but in the entire uh, route. I actually made a list of these achievements, which is something I normally do not do, but I want to be prepared for this uh, route, and therefore I have done that. So the one that we are getting today is the Liverpool Manchester Good Day Sunshine achievement, which means that we've completed the scenario express service to Manchester with at least 700 points. That's exactly what we did. Uh, we also would have by now achieved the Hello achievement, which means we've driven the Manchester or the Regional Railways Class 158. I have not yet done the uh, tutorial for the expert controls, which I will do to get the Ticket to Ride achievement, which ironically is also a game that I uh, own a board game of, which is a train-based board game, coincidentally enough. I mean, I need to play that for you guys sometimes. It's a cool little game. Uh, it can also be infuriating if you uh, have a bad card setup. Uh, but in any case, other achievements will include Run for Your Life, which is another 700-point achievement. I'll tell you what scenario later. One called Help, which uh, involves completing the Match Day Madness scenario without speeding. Uh, roll with it. Underneath the Sky, these are both 700 point achievements. Weight, which is a no penalties achievement. Standing on the shoulders of Giants, which means you've got 4,200 points among these six scenarios. 6,000 is possible. And I think according to what I've seen on my friends list, they are all possible. And then the final one, which is the one I said I would come back to, when I talked about this being a 35 mile route. Driven 158 miles in the Regional Railways Class 158 is the Here, There, and Everywhere achievement. Uh, now, because I'm gonna be doing some retakes here and there, I don't think you're gonna have a problem getting that uh, because we are gonna be doing the entire route uh, multiple times, or I think two or, two or three or four times. So we're gonna get close to 150 just on that. I think we're gonna be good for this achievement anyway. But uh, if I were to go to, and I don't think you can see this, but if I were to go to my achievements page right now, uh, and uh, by the way, I don't think I got the, I think the achievement for driving the 158, I got a long time ago because um, I think that achievement, I'm going to search this in fact, I think that achievement, um, yeah, I unlocked it on uh, today. Well, I, I actually unlocked that one earlier today. So I actually achieved that one a long time ago, earlier today. There you go. But the, uh, what was I going to say about the uh, 158? Let's look up the Liverpool Manchester here, and I'll make sure I give you the correct information on what I have and have not done so far. Uh, if I look at the career, no, that's not that's down or pass. If I look at the information for this achievement, it tells me nothing about the amount of time I've driven it because I'm looking on the wrong information. That would be why. Now I'm on the right information. It says that I've driven it for 59 miles so far because I did a retake around the Warrington area when I got my, um, when the game crashed and I got the uh, so-called out of memory area, which error, which is a blank error, so to speak. So basically what I've just done, if I do it three times, I'll have 157 miles, I'll be one away. Actually, no, I'll have 167 miles, I'll be well over. So yeah, I'm gonna be well on my way to getting this 158. You're gonna see me get that 158, no problem. So uh, we're gonna achieve that in the course of these scenarios. But now you know what achievements that I am gonna be looking to obtain here. I think you're gonna be able to obtain all of them in the course of these six scenarios. Let's keep going with it. Well, except for one, the tutorial, obviously. But other than that, the rest of them I'm gonna achieve. And I'll do the tutorial on my own. In any case, have yourself a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever it is for you, your part of the world. I will see you next time for more uh, Let's Play Train Simulator. I have not decide for sure which scenario it will be yet but i am kind of thinking i want to save the other express run for later on since it's a three-star scenario i'm probably going to go to the match is it match day madness that's a two-star it's either that or roll with it one of those is a two-star scenario or level one difficulty according to the way the rating is set up and i'm going to do whatever that one is next 
Uh, I'm going to then do the three that have three bars, and then I'll do that four bar one, which is the waiting for freight. So that's the order I'm going to do it in. All the twos, threes, and fours as they appear on the menu. So uh, stay tuned for the other two scenario next time. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. I'm Cyclone. Bye-bye.